hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Anchua. It's going to be about spilling the tea about me in this video. I just want to be as vulnerable and personal as possible here. This is going to be a tag video created by Naturally List, a content creator who um, focuses on fragrance and lifestyle, but most of the time niche designer fragrance and sometimes Middle Eastern. I love her demure, natural um character and personality she comes up across as very demure down to earth very relatable and i would love for you to check her channel out and support her she created this chat this you know tag and i decided to just jump on it and be as vulnerable and raw as possible because a lot of people want to know us you know who is ajwa you know what do you do it's part of the questions she she asked you know and that is one aspect of the question i want to really give some attention to you know because other people are curious as to oh so what do you do to be able to afford some of these fragrances and all those things you know and i'm here with all the tea um, and I decided to put a lot of information in this particular video because I know some of these tag videos do not do so well. So it's only your core audience, you know, who would always want to support you that come to watch some of these videos. So I just want to be personal to my core ad audience in this particular, you know, um, um, tag video. And I'll just deviate a bit from what Liz asked added a few things of my own just for you to know me a lot more so my name is Ajoa Bwahima Bedu that is my local name in Ghana we have a lot of people have like two sets of names usually the names the name on your passport and other things are, are quite different from the ones you are called you know at home or locally among among your kin for me, I prefer to use my local name, although I have a Christian name. That is what is in my passport, but I hardly use that name. And a lot of people know me as Ajwa Bwahima Bedu. So I'm 39 years old. I'm a mother of a soon-to-be eight-year-old girl. I am I've never been married. I am single, although currently in a solid relationship that I'm happy about, you know, and hopefully. I plan sharing a lot about my relationship sort of, you know, aspect in future videos. I, I, I just want to sort of freshen up my content somewhere early next year and I'll incorporate a lot about my personal style, lifestyle, relationship, you know, hopefully you get to see my partner. All those things are in the works. So hopefully um, that comes to fruition. Fr fr <laughs> yeah, I think that is the word. Okay, so um, one of the questions in the tag is, um, um, do you work a traditional nine to five? I just want to focus on that for the most part. I do not have a traditional nine to five job. I used to, the last one I got, uh, I did was like two years ago that I resigned from the job. I used to work as a senior um, faculty member, you know, for, at Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. At the time of resignation, I was a member of the non-teaching faculty staff and I was assigned to the office of the registrar of the institute. And um, I was in that job for 10 years and I resigned two years ago due to some personal, you know, relationship issues with, the, with some people and also wanting to start life, you know, sort of, you know, all over because i was sort of done with the whole nine to five you know corporate thing and i wanted to get into something that i will give me less stress you know less stress and give me some time to build myself as a woman as a person as a business person you know and that is what i've been doing ever since i I wouldn't want to say, okay, I do that and that and that because I remember watching um, Veronica says and she never mentioned what she does, you know, actually. But under her comments, people were insisting. So what do you do? And I think that is like a big deal to a lot of people wanting to know what other content creators do that, you know, brings them money. All I can say is I have about three sources of income. You know, I have uh, about three sources of income. Um, I do my own business. I would consider myself a business woman or a business owner. And moving forward, I think what I plan to do, I'll be bringing you a lot of details as to what I do. 
I sort of, you know, documented a whole lot of things I wanted to share and someone advised me not to, you know, when things are in the works, you don't sort of, you know, um, preempt and give information, you know, because we are Africans, so we are very superstitious about certain things until they are finalized. But for now, I guess I am a businesswoman. I have two sources of income and I think I've said this in another um, video that I'm grateful to have like... um um someone in my life who sort of you know makes life a lot easier for me you know this person i don't think he would want me to mention his name but i have a child with this person and this person makes life a lot easier for me in terms of money you know i don't have a relationship with him but he's a good provider um, he provides for his child. He's not on any child support or anything. In Ghana, we don't do child support, you know. So it was like, I didn't ask him. We never sat down to talk about, okay, how much are you going to give me for monthly, you know, upkeep of this of our of our, of our girl you know he just came up with that amount and i was like whatever you're comfortable with i'm going to go with that and he's been very like consistent every single month he sends the child's money money if i ever reach out to him and go like oh i need a b and c for my personal stuff you know he will provide for me you know although it's been like over a year since i saw this person you know but he's just a good provider that is what I can say. He's, I'm, I'm, I'll just, I'll not come and lie and say, I'm like the, the hardest working person and I'm doing this and I'm making this and I'm making that. Yes, I have businesses, two sources of income of my own. And that is sort of, you know, a third sort of income to me because aside the child monthly money that I, I receive, if I ever should go to this person and say, I need A, B, and C, he provides it for me. So I don't want to lie and say, okay, I'm the hardest working person and my business is generating much and much and much and much, although it is, and I'm trying to do a lot with that too. I get a lot of support from, you know, um, um, my child's father, I would say, and I'm blessed. I, I think I would just say I'm blessed to have that, you know, so that is also a sort of a source of income, but I will not consider it that, you know, I live my life. I always tell myself, I want to live a life that if this man is not in my life today, I can still sustain the lifestyle, which to me is a very simple lifestyle. I think I have a very simple lifestyle i don't do things um beyond my means you know i don't do things beyond my my means plus i have like very little expenditure you know myself i don't pay rent you know i don't i i own so i don't pay rent i don't I don't pay any car notes or anything I own and all those. So my expenditure is quite low at the end of the month. It's just what I will eat, you know, my electricity, water, those kind of things. When it comes to school fees and medical and everything, it's all being um, my child's father best all that, you know, for her, you know, and I take care of myself, you know, and um, that is it, you know, that is how I live currently. And with my business, one other business that I'm, I'm setting up, you know, coming up, I'm going to share a lot about that particular one. It is in the works, hopefully, by the time, by March thereabout, I, you would see the physical, you know, business that I'm trying to sort of settle in eventually, or one of those that I, I want to to become like one of my major sources of income. So it's in the works, you know, I'm African, so I don't want to preempt and say a lot of things. And I hope I'm not blabbing, you know, I just want to be as vulnerable as, you know, pos possible, share this about, about myself to you, because I, I don't have anything to hide. My life is very private, you know, and I guess a decision I made to share this with you guys today because I know it is just my call or the answer that are going to watch this today. So that is what I, I get, you know, I, I generate money from my own, um, two sources of income, money from my, my child's father. And currently, let's say YouTube, I get some money from it. And although I'll say whatever I generate from YouTube goes back into, you know, refinancing the channel by way of, you know, purchasing, um, other, you know, fragrances for reviews. Majority of what I make from YouTube goes straight back into YouTube, you know, with something a little left for you to buy something nice, you know, for yourself once in a while. So that is going to be, <clears throat> sorry, that is something that I wanted to discuss, you know. 
I, I will be sharing a lot about me. I, my channel is going to, you know, change somewhere around the second quarter of, of 2025. You know, that is what I'm looking at. And you're going to get a lot about my personal life, you know, that I want to share with you. So yeah, um, there are so many things in the works and hopefully, um, I'm able to finish with that and share with you some amazing news, you know, and yeah, I'm excited about that. So, after 10 minutes, let's go to the first question that Liz asks. How long have you been recording YouTube videos? I've been doing this for two years, three months at this point. You know, two years, three months at this point. Do you record on a phone or a camera? I use my phone, you know. I've, I'm not, a, you know, that sort of a camera person. I know it's a lot of where people say you need to record, you take out the whatever and do this. And, no, it's simple for me. I take my phone, I record, I edit and it's out, you know, and with the number of videos that I chime out every single, you know, week, it makes sense for me to record on my video, although I usually run out of space. So the third question is, do you record in HD or 4K? I switch to 4K when I'm recording, you know, I think my, my major issue is lightning, lightning, you know, I have issue with lightning when it comes to producing my videos and I'm trying to work on that, you know, so I hope you bear with me and thank you for bearing me in some of the worst videos I have put out there with the poor lightning and everything. You still bear with me and I hope it changes for the better so um do you batch record of course i do batch record you know um this is my first video for the day i think i will do one more video because i have to step out you know i'm i'm going out with my sister we need to you know um we are going for the victoria secret bath and body works you know they're having a seal so we are heading to, you know because as a lot of you might be aware I, that is my business i do um, retail and wholesale of Bath and Body Works, you know, back in Ghana. So whenever I'm in the US, I don't try to buy as much as I can during the sale period, accumulate as many as possible, and then, you know, take it back to Ghana. So it's one of my sources of income. And as we speak now, um, Bath and Body Works is having a, a form of sale. So right after this video, I'll film another one and then we'll head back to, um, one of the stores, you know, around and then pick up some, you know, some good deals, you know, so yeah, so I batch record, usually I record about three to four videos in a day, you know, at least three to four videos in a day, I, I, I upload almost every single day, you know, I don't really have like a schedule, schedule, I upload almost every single day, you know, and um, yeah, that has been my schedule, so yes, so um, yeah, and also I, I wrote down for the fact that I don't do just my hair and makeup to record just one video. It's just a waste of, you know, time and <clears throat> um resources and makeup and hair to just come do all those things and then record just one video. So I record about three to four videos depending on my mood, you know. Occasionally, if I'm so, you know, tired or I'm not in the mood, I might just do one video and that's it, you know. So I record about three to four videos and I do that like twice a week and then I have like enough videos for the week, you know. Then at the other, you know, uh, days, I take my time to edit, you know, and attend to other things um in my life, you know. So do you record your video in one take no i don't you know it is now that um recording has become a lot more easier for me i used to struggle with recording my videos you know i would record scrap it off start all over again or pause and you know um reevaluate what i have said think up think through my thoughts you know regather my thoughts you know and do like uh reshoot it again or, or refill it again and Lately, it's been a lot easier, you know, because I used to just stress myself and be hard on myself to be perfect. I've realized I can never be perfect. So I just need to be myself. And that is what helps me lately for me to be able to film seamlessly, you know, or more seamlessly lately. So number seven says, how long does it take to edit one video? In the past, I could struggle with like sometimes four, five, six hours to edit one video nowadays it is so much better because i i don't really i feel like i flow a lot more you know example in this video i have not you know um taken any pause you know i think i've taken just one pause you know to regather my my thoughts you know but it's it's just seamless when and once it's seamless i don't really need to 
um, take a lot of time to edit, you know, and I, I need to be sure that whatever I'm putting out there is something I want to put out there so that I don't have to go back and editing, 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 you know, so I, it takes me currently, if I film something for like 30 minutes, it's or uh, 45 minutes and my videos are not super long. You know, I try not to bore a lot of people with my like long videos. So I do at most 20, 15, sometimes if it's like a single video, I'm doing like a, a single review, maybe a maximum of 10. And for let's say a 20 minutes video that I record, um, I would, if I want to narrow it down to edit to 20 minutes, I would record for about 30 minutes you know and edit like like 10 minutes out or sometimes even less and that takes me around two hours you know lately it takes me around two hours to be able to finish a lot of my editing and if you remember one of my latest video with the title similar but different you know um yeah similar but better videos like that for example takes me forever i filmed that video like two to three weeks ago i was struggling with the editing it took me about seven days to edit because you need to cut copy um photos um edit it you know um filter them out and paste it on the screen and all it took me it was taking a lot of my time and i almost nearly deleted that video you know because it was like a lot for me but eventually i decided to just finish it up and you know push it out and thankfully it paid off because that video for example has had over four thousand views in the last um one week or so you know so yeah it's a lot of hard work when you try to do certain types of videos some of them are very easy to do others are very difficult to do when you have like 20 video 20 fragrances 30 fragrances at a time you're talking about them and comparing and doing that it's a lot harder you know yeah so how um the eight the eight question is do you know do you have a full-time job you have answered that i don't have a full-time job i don't no i don't i don't do that I think I missed one. I'll go back to it. He says, how do you plan your content? For me, I plan my content based on what is new in my collection. And um, that is one. Number two, what is like the most relevant topics in Fracom? You know, you take inspiration from the most, some of the most relevant questions, like um, content or uh, topics in Fracom, you know, you know, when it's like seasonal changes and all those things, everybody's doing it. So you are sort of, you know, indirectly forced to do certain things like that. What I also go with what is trending, you know, I go with what is trending. And sometimes I guess go with my instincts as to what I really want to, you know, put out there. And sometimes I guess want to be different. So when I see every single person doing this and that and that, you know, I guess want to deviate from the norm and bring out you know my own sort of new things and that is something i sort of pride myself in doing i pride myself in the fact that i go all out in creating content that i think it's a bit different from the norm you know i try to push myself to do something out of the ordinary you know because the audience is looking for something out of the ordinary for the most part and i try i'm not 100 percent there but i try to give people my audience you know the best of me yeah so number nine says um have you ever been recognized outside of you know um, by a stranger no i don't know nobody has recognized me outside you know of my like youtube channel i'm in town i'm doing my errands i'm doing meeting people like, except my friends already know i have a channel and then occasionally they will joke about hey my superstar you know my my local star that kind of thing you know but i've never been approached by someone who says oh i know you from youtube i just lost fragrances no no most of the time if i meet people i sort of introduce myself and go like oh i have a youtube channel if you can check it out like that you know sometimes depending on the crowd and all those things yeah so nobody has really recognized me by that you know but i know my my family watch my mom is my number one um supporter she watches you know my sister watches my partner watches my baby daddy watches everybody watches you know yeah and sometimes they give me feedback and all those yeah so yeah so is there any one perfume you love that everybody seems to dislike or vice versa i think um young pistachio care pistachio all those you know young pistachio dupes it's one that i didn't it didn't work out for me but it seemed a lot of people love that you know nebras for example is like an overhyped fragrance that 
it's nice nebras is nice but i guess for it's overhyped not that i don't like it you know i do like nebras but I, th I guess for it was sort of overhyped at, at some point and it turned out to be just an okay nice you know fragrance for me you know yeah so it's young pistachio yeah and i think one fragrance that i also love that a lot of people detest is um oud al layal by my perfumes arabiat i love that you know fragrance that is like a very arabian style middle eastern um oud violet rose you know sweet sugary you know fragrance and i love that but it looks like it's a bit too much for a lot of people you know that is what readily comes to mind and the last question here is if you could go back in time to give yourself one piece of advice before you started your youtube journey what would that be i don't think i really have any sort of advice for myself because this has been a learning curve you know as people will say I, I think I'm still learning. There are so many things I have learned. There are so many things I would um, wish to correct, you know, in terms of the, the type of content I have put out. And But I don't regret anything I have put out, you know. Sometimes you can look at them and go like, hmm, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that, you know. But it's it's I'm one person that I have very few regrets in my life, you know. I have very few regrets. The, the most one regrets that i feel i could i could undo it's sort of you know undoable you know it's sort of undoable and that is the only regret i have in my life you know is there only it's a, pe a very personal regret i have in my life but when it comes to any other aspects like you know youtube i don't take it overly too seriously like that like oh i've done something and i'm you know press i'm super stressed by it you know no the, the 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 one single regret i have you know in my my life that keeps haunting me till this day is the fact that i never repaired my relationship with my dad you know before he died that is the only regret i have in my life and i wish i could take that back you know we had the worst of relationship between me and him we had the worst of relationship but you know people die you grow you think about things and you go like he was not the best person but i wish we had improved on our relationship and that is going to be it for today and i hope this video found you well please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye